Hello everybody, welcome back to my movie review series. Today we'll be discussing Jurassic World Dominion. Just got back from watching it. Do the typical thing, give you my overall grade and impressions first. I'll tell you when I'm about to start breaking down the plot, which will contain spoilers, spoiler alerts. So if you have not seen the movie and want to hear some general impressions and my overall grade, that's when you're going to want to turn the uh, movie off, it, or the video off. If you have seen the movie and want to continue to listen to me talk about it for whatever reason, then you can continue to leave a video on. But, overview. Which, for fun fact, I don't actually uh, read um, the overviews before going to the movies, which is kind of on me. Four years after the destruction of Isla Nublar, dinosaurs now live and hunt alongside humans all over the world. This fragile balance will reshape the future and determine, once and for all, whether human beings are to remain the apex predators on the planet they now share with history's most fearsome creatures. 30% on Rotten Tomatoes, 85% of Google use, users like the video, and 6 out of 10 on IMBD. Um, I'm going to give it a B-. minus. Why? Um, for one, I noticed the overall plot of dinosaurs with the people as opposed to like the actual the initial Jurassic Parks looked it up There's I think there were seven movies in the series But I just thought the plot was a little a little staler two hours and 26 minute runtime But I just thought it was a little staler um, With the dinosaurs already interacting with the people as opposed to like breaking out of the initial initial park or the Jurassic World whatever movie that one was also, I thought the, the soundtrack was very loud. Like, obviously, dinosaurs are going to make some pretty aggressive sounds. We don't like, really get a break throughout the movie. So, you're pretty much hearing dinosaurs roar the entire 2 hours and 26 minutes. So, it's, pretty, it's a pretty loud soundtrack for a movie as well. You don't get really much breaks from it. So, just compared to the other uh, Jurassic Park movies that I've seen, I, I just think B- is where it's at. I really thought... Um, he said a Top Gun was a flat A. I thought we might have back-to-back -back A ratings, but I gave this one a B minus. So that's my overall thoughts. So if you have not seen the movie, shut off the video now. If you have seen the movie, I'm gonna keep talking and break down the plot now. And so another reason that I didn't that the movie didn't click that well with me is I just didn't remember like the plot and the like the relevant information from the previous movies. So I think there's been seven of these. Had to take a brief intermission. It's raining pretty hard here in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. So if you hear some rain in the background, that's what's going on. But the movie opens up, and there you get some, you get some refresher. But basically, the dinosaurs are living with the people. They're all over the place. They're concentrated in this place called Biosyn um, Valley, just like this big research company. But like the big, like the T Rex. The, the big swimming, aggressive, humongous swimming apex predator from one of the previous ones, and another like giant, the, the whatever the dinosaur's name, the biggest meat eater in the world, carnivore in the world, is all like at this Biosyn Valley level. So you have a couple kind of groups of people. <coughs> you have um, Chris Pratt playing Owen Grady, and he's married to Claire Deering, played by Bryce Dallas Howard. And they're watching Maisie, I think it's Lockwood, it's Lock something, but do they call her Maisie? Basically, she's a, her mom was one of the researchers in the previous video, or in the previous movies, and she had some sort of genetic disease, so she, like, basically like, didn't clone herself, but, like, had a child without, like, having a partner, so just some sort of genetic reproduction, and now Maisie is just a, a very keen interest of Biosyn, the Biosyn director, who's played by Lewis Dod Dodgson, and so basically, she Maisie is being like secluded, sequestered from society. They're hiding her, basically, knowing people are after her, and she lives with Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And so, basically, people are looking for her. There's the the raptors from the previous movie, Blue. Um, they they train them. I remember, I remember that part of the movie. But just Velociraptors and Chris Pratt had to train them in a previous movie. So Blue, the Velociraptor, is still with them. And she also can like self-reproduce, so she has a kid. And uh, Claire, or Maisie calls her, I think, Beta, I believe. 
they're kind of living out in the woods. You meet again Ellie Sattler, played by Laura Dern, and Ian Malcolm, played by Jeff Goldblum, and Alan Grant, played by Sam Neill. I remember all of those from the previous movies, and again, not exactly sure, like, their relationships throughout the movies. But, basically, Alan Grant's, like, doing an archaeological dig, I think, on, I think on dinosaurs. Ellie Sattler gets a... Oh, in the beginning of the movie, there's also another scene of people basically breaking into an illegal... There's, like, animal trafficking for dinosaurs now, so they're breaking into it and, it's like, saving... They save, like, a baby, baby dinosaur... And I think that's, I'm going to forget what crew that is, but I think, I think it's people with Biosyn. I forget, I forget who, who's helping the animals, maybe just like the animal helping crew. But you get a scene of that. And so, um, what else happens? So the, the plot wasn't super convincing for me, or just like, I guess a B minus, kind of entertaining, but whatever. Um, but, El, oh, Ellie Sattler, there's a... There's like dinosaur insects, just like giant insects, and like, kind of like the main plot throughout the movie is Biosyn has illegally created these giant insects that devour crops, and if it if your plants weren't planted, seeded with the Biosyn seed, then your crops get absolutely destroyed. So it's kind of like the overarching theme really is trying trying to stop world destruction of food for people and food for animals because of these like dinosaur insects kind of devouring all of the crops. It was, it was generated at Biosyn, it's kind of under the radar. If they get caught, it's gonna be big trouble. And the Biosyn director, Lewis Dodgson, has a bunch of people looking out, trying to get Maisie. Maisie's not allowed to go into town or go around anyone. She's 14, she wants to go out and have some freedom. Owen and Claire want to keep her safe. Alan and Ellie meet up about the um, about the insect problem, um, and Ian Malcolm he's not he works as as some sort of chief scientist or maybe council or speaker or, he works at Biosyn and Ian Malcolm invites Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler to Biosyn, and so like their main Valley headquarters things and there's a couple of different locations and they're going there, so then Maisie gets kidnapped by people working for the Biosyn director. They have, they basically kidnap her, they kidnap the, the baby Velociraptor that was birthed by Blue. And so they're being transported, they go somewhere, like I think it's in Africa, I believe, and you meet, um, I think it's Kayla Watts, and she's like a pilot, used to serve in some sort of military role, but now she just flies for, and I quote, whoever has the bag. So she's just basically transporting whatever illegal goods or whatever she can get her hands on or whatever. So, they, she, she's flying, they kidnap Maisie and the, and the, the, the Velociraptor, the Kayla Watts kind of sees her and is like, you know, doesn't really say anything. They meet up in Africa to deliver the package, and you meet, uh, she doesn't have, a, doesn't have a, a character name, at least not here on Google, but I think it's Deshend Lockman. Just, uh, she's got a pretty interesting face, she's pretty cute, pretty interesting face, but recognizable. She's definitely somebody in Animal Kingdom, one of the, one of the criminal dude's girlfriends. But she does not have a name in, or at least a character name, at least here on Google. She's like the in-between kind of person for, uh, Lewis Dod Dodgson, the, the Biosyn director, and they have this big kind of other, these like, other type of raptors that are trained to kill, Basically, she points a laser at somebody, and the, the, the raptor's going to attack them until they're going to lock onto the scent, and until they kill them, that's what they're going to do. And so there's this, like, underground African market for trading dinosaurs or selling dinosaurs or gambling over dinosaurs, just some sort of criminality element involving the dinosaurs. And um, Owen Grady and Claire Deering obviously try to get Maisie back. They go there. There's, like, a big, a big ruckus scene. They, they let out the, the, the raptors trying to kill people. She locks on, uh, Duchenne locks on the, the laser to Owen, Claire, and the rest of the, like, the FBI group. I think it's like maybe CIA. There's definitely like a CIA animal resource division. And so Duchenne gets arrested there. They trap one of the dinosaurs. You know, there's a couple 
someone's getting eating in the park. During during this time, a lot of the dinosaurs get let out of the underground market. So there's big big dudes in the town square eating people. Owen oh, Grady's getting away on the motorbike in the in the preview scenes. Deshen gets um, gets arrested, and at this point, Alan and Ellie are at the Biosyn Center with Ian. And basically, Ian and another character, I think it's Ramsey Cole. Basically, they know that Biosyn is guilty of the locusts. So he basically tells tells uh, Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm does that. You know where in the, it's a big facility, humongous facility. You know where they're keeping the locusts. And gives him like the clearance card to get down there, and so Ramsey Cole gives him a tour, and it's like you know you have 30 minutes. That elevator there over there goes down to the lower levels, and the elevator there to the right goes to the upper levels. Definitely go down to the lower levels. And later you find out Ramsey Cole and Ian Malcolm were both aware and telling each other about Biosyn's grave, grave tragedy to the world about the crops being destroyed with the insects. So Ellie and Alan go down there, they get a sample from one of the locusts things, and they leave. They, uh, Maisie is now there, and she talks to the Asian doctor. I don't even see him on here. Am I missing him? I mean, classic Google, a person plays a major role and is not even on the character list for the movie. So, but there's an Asian doctor that's clearly been in other stuff, and I've seen him, I think, in Jurassic Parks as well. But he's again talking about being able to en engineer if he can study Maisie and the uh, Velociraptor, then he can have an, one of the locusts integrate into the, the swarm and have the other locusts stop destroying all the crops. So they kind of meet up in the area. They, they kind of get together and they, they're going to escape and they just have like some like tunnel pod transportation system that they get in and they go out and have to go through some caves. Um, you have at this point uh, Owen and Claire, they get a ride with Kayla Watts. Basically Kayla Watts kind of feels bad that she didn't say anything about seeing Maisie, but now she kind of wants to help and she helps them escape the, 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 the frantic scene in the town square in Africa and they fly away. And they're flying, they get hit by another another humongous flying dinosaur, it destroys the plane. Um, Claire has, there's one parachute, three people, Claire ejects, uses the parachute, lands in the, in the valley with all of the dinosaurs, has in, interactions with them, has to go underwater, not get eaten by the big one, that they feed the big one's deer. Um, and then Owen and Kayla crash into the water. They, they're on ice, frozen water, ice, and they have another interaction with one of the humongous dinosaurs, and it can swim, and so they're running on ice, and they're all trying to get to Biosyn, and Alan, Ellie, and Maisie are trying to leave Biosyn. And so, uh, Claire, Owen, and um, uh, Kayla end up meeting back up again in this valley and trying to get to to the center of Biosim. Um, Ellie, Allen, and Maisie are kind of there in, there as well. I'm not, I'm not really remembering where the, where the plot goes. But basically, the they try to like extinguish, they try to like, Biosim director Lewis Dodson tries to like incinerate all of the locusts they're keeping at Biosim. It doesn't work, they like escape, they fly out through a vent. So they have this huge swarm of humongous insects just like burning and also flying, so they're just like falling down on the dinosaurs. And because, because of this big fire, they have to evacuate the, the building, and as well as all of the big dinosaurs are gonna be coming back to the center of the facility. And so at this point, you kind of uh, Ramsey kind of tells Lewis Dodson that he was the one that told Ian Malcolm, or him and Ian, Ian were the ones leaking the information about the, the locust big insects being developed at Biosyn. The whole group, Alan, Ellie, Ian, Claire, Owen, Kayla, Maisie, they all kind of, again, they're, they're like in the Biosyn facility with all the dinosaurs. They have another close interaction with a bunch of the big ones. They all escape. And they're always, we're always escaping dinosaurs in this one. And the Biosyn director, he ends up getting eaten for sure. 
in, like within the facility or in like the transportation tube. Um, and what's like kind of the end? So they'll they'll kind of escape. They meet back up as a big group. There's like a kind of a, a showdown between the three humongous dinosaurs, the T-Rex, the the largest carnivore, and the big one that can swim from a previous uh, movie. <coughs> and they like kind of like fight. Like all of the people are trying to run around. They're trying to get on a plane to fl uh, to fly away. They have to like cut off the power so the aerial defense system goes back up so it like stops the flying dinosaurs from attacking their planes and helicopters so they have to do another like little quick mission to do that a couple of the girls go back into the facility and whack the, like the power supply in the room with all the insects as insects are flying at them they all meet back up the anti aerial defense system goes back online and basically the t-rex bites the biggest dude like the biggest carnivore the biggest dinosaur bites that, that dinosaur into like the claws of the swimming dinosaur and it, they, the swimming dinosaur and the T-Rex collectively kill the biggest dinosaur as the humans are fleeing and running away. So the humans run away, they, they take some data, Ellie Sattler in the final scenes gives some data to the New York Times and, and her lab or whoever. They start doing congressional hearings about, about Biosyn and the and the, the locusts killing all the crops. So again, overall, again, entertaining. This is kind of not definitely, and F is I leave the theater, D is off-putting, C is whatever, B is entertaining, A is, is really well done. So B minus, going from slightly entertaining to blah. Just like the, again, cr crop, giant insects killing the crops as opposed to like, again, dinosaurs breaking out in the initial ones, which is not, not nearly as an interesting plot development to me. The soundtrack was very loud throughout. It was a very packed theater. A lot of, a lot of little kids getting up and moving around all the time. So, uh, I made an offer on a house during the movie. So, I don't know. For, for just comparing them to the other Jurassic Park movies, which I, I pretty much really enjoyed throughout. Haven't seen them in a while, so I, I don't know. I can't rewatch them for the first time. So, B-. So, thank you for watching Jurassic World Dominion, and see you next time.